Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2018 200 Series VX. So a little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus. I am standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards where we actually go through about 120 cars a month and have over 150 in stock at any given time. So I am at our city yard here where we've obviously got our multi-level showroom up there. And as you can see, quite a different range of vehicles. Along Mulgrave Road, as you go on out of the city here in Cairns, uh, you'll actually come across a brand new part of Toyota and Lexus. Parts and services just out the back and our second yard full of pre-owned vehicles. So throughout the video, I'll be going over the 200 here in complete detail, just pointing out any blemishes that may appear that you'll be looking for at first point of sale yourself. Uh, but obviously pointing out any great features on this excellent vehicle as well. So I do like to start down the front end. So obviously the most common thing to be expected is little stone chips and markings. Uh, but obviously as we go along, we'll point out anything that may appear. So as we can see, stock standard, but nice front end on these 200 series. Get in for a close look, see if we can see any stone chips to point out for you. Beautiful overall, very clean and tidy. So you can see in the bonnet, no scratches, dents, anything like that. Beautiful, they're the type of things we want to be covering throughout the video. So as you can see, you do obviously, you have got your front sensors down there as well. And as we have a look down the passenger side, just trying to give you a good angle, just to see if there's any ripples in the body. But obviously as we go along, pointing out any little minor imperfections that may appear. As you can see overall though, no major damages. So it does come with nice big alloy wheels on the VX. Excellent amount of tire tread down in here. Have a look around the wheel arches for you being a four wheel drive. We obviously want to make sure we're ticking all the boxes. Do have a bit of a headline scratch out the side here, but nothing too major in the ways of actually affecting the body. But they're the type of things we want to be pointing out as we go. As you can see though, overall very clean and tidy, very straight body. No actual major dents or I guess chips away at the paint. Uh, as we go around the back end here. So obviously we've got our reversing sensors as well. Cover in there for the towing just to make it look clean and tidy. Got our built-in reversing cameras. A couple of minor wear and tear little marks down there, but nothing major. Uh, those type of little imperfections are to be expected on something a couple year old. But in the way of actual damages, there's no concerns. We'll open them up, so. Inside the back here, it's been kept clean and tidy. As you can see, you do get the uh, rubber floor mat back here, so obviously keeping it in good condition. Back seats tuck away nicely, no cuts or tears or burns. And as you can see, they sit nice and uh, nice and comfortably. Beautiful. We'll make our way down the driver's side now. Again, just trying to give you a good angle of the body, just so you can see if there's any ripples. But making our way along, pointing out any, any little markings or imperfections that there simply appears to be rubbing off a bit. Got a little bit of rain up here, so it does get a full clean before delivery as well. And a couple of these little minor things can either be buffed out or just simply wash off. Again, just going on a wheel arch at the back now just to show you. Beautiful. Down the driver's side here, a couple of minor markings that are probably, to be fair, just buff out the actual vehicle. They don't seem to have any sort of feel of, uh, I guess, thickness like a cut and going through the paint there. But overall, very clean and tidy, straight body. Uh, over the windscreen, it's obviously been through the roadworthy, but we still want to make sure that there is no chips, cracks, anything like that appearing. 
and obviously up along the roof as well. As you can see, it's got the sunroof. Uh, we want to make sure though that there's no major dents or hail damage, anything like that, that may appear. And then we'll go through the interior of the vehicle. So starting in the back here, as you can see with the door carts, good condition. A little bit of general wear and tear, but nothing major in the way of uh, cuts or scuff marks or anything like that. So through the back, they do have the carpet floor mats in there. As you can see, the seats are in very good condition. So with the leather interior, uh, there's no fading, uh, no cuts, no sort of, I guess, deterioration of the leather itself, which is good to see. Beautiful and same can obviously be said for the roof. So as you can see, you do have your rear air vents there and obviously the control panel for the back seats there as well when it comes to the air conditioning. Definitely needed here in Cairns. Uh, we'll hop in the driver's seat and we'll start her up. So on the driver's door, you obviously got your electric windows and your central locking. Uh, she does come with a full set of keys, obviously keyless though, at the end of the day. Uh, so all we'll do is just foot on the brake. Beautiful, we hear that nice V8. Turn that one down. Someone's been having a bit of fun while they're driving. Uh, but on the right hand side here, we've obviously got all sorts of things like our auto side mirrors to be brought in, um, our OSCA we can turn off, uh, obviously to do with emissions and that as well, and your headlights, all those sort of features down the right hand side. Your know, domino trip meter side of things just above that. Uh, when it comes to the right hand side of the steering wheel though, it's uh, to do with obviously these sort of controls up in the middle here, being able to change through those different screen settings. Beautiful, all just simply off the right hand side here, with our cruise control just below it. On the left hand side, it's all to do with our head unit and obviously our connections like Bluetooth, being able to answer and decline calls in the hands free side of things. But as we can see, she's done 41,830 kilometres. So, very sort of standard case for a vehicle of this age. Um, on the left hand side, we've obviously got our idle up for those cold mornings. Uh, and obviously to do with the towing and the boost side there as well. Beautiful. So as we can see, we do have a nice large uh, display of maps up here. So we go through and go back home and go to the audio. All of this here, this is all, all touch screen at the end of the day, so beautiful. If you want to connect, obviously, that Bluetooth, you got all those sort of options, all those navigations, everything like that's all built in nowadays on a nice large display screen. And that's obviously where the reversing camera comes in as well. Now, as you can hear, it is beeping just because of the sensors around the vehicle, but it actually shows you where exactly it's, uh, I guess, at that danger point, which is the front left. If we have a look up, we've obviously got a pole just out there, so good to see the sensors are working well. Just below that we do obviously have our air conditioning, our dual climate control air conditioning setup, uh, which can obviously be different for the front and the back, and also for the driver and the passenger at the end of the day, allowing for that maximum comfort for those long drives. Just below, obviously a couple of controls to for the head unit but most of it is touchscreen nowadays and you've got all your little compartments here that all tuck away nicely you built in usb and aux and as we actually get down near the automatic setup here it's actually all of our four-wheel drive controls at the end of the day that is what they're designed for uh, but obviously it depends on how much you want to put them to the test beautiful everything tucks away nice and sleek uh, has that excellent sort of I guess stylish side of things nowadays So we do have a nice large compartment down in here uh, But also at the end of that you've got another shelf up on top as well Beautiful, but as we can see in in the front here just like in the rear the leather seats uh, The dash all those sort of things don't have any fading or cracking or anything like that starting to appear uh, and then up, up top here, obviously we've got our controls for the sunroof, so you just simply want it shaded or not, uh, we can open and close it. Beautiful, works automatically. 
Besides that, we do have our full set of books down in here. So we'll have a bit of a look at the service one. Obviously, that's always the, the biggest question that people have. Uh, as we can see, it's had all of its services up to date. Uh, next one's due in about 8,000 Ks. So always good to see that they are being looked after. But what we'll do, we'll pop the bonnet and we'll have a look underneath. Beautiful. So as we can see, it's got the nice big V8 motor in here. A very clean and tidy. Running nice and smooth. Uh, there's no major knocks. Uh, squealing of belts, anything like that. Uh, I've obviously got room for a dual battery setup as well, if need be. But as we can see, very clean, very tidy vehicle. Even underneath at the end of the day. Basically everything you'd expect from uh, such a nice vehicle, only a couple of year old, still in great condition. But that was our virtual tour of our 2018 200 Series VX. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to hearing from you shortly. Thank you.